This is Rap Son, worshiping the Most High God of Israel alone and carrying on the legacy and teachings of my dear father and our dear messenger, Rap the News. Shalom, family. Psalms 50, verse 3. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. Deuteronomy 32, 22. For a fire is kindled in mine anger, and shall burn unto the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Three degrees. It can be the difference between snow and sleet, wearing a jacket or not. In your day-to-day -day life, it may not seem significant, but three degrees of global warming would be catastrophic. Heat waves, droughts, extreme precipitation, even fire. Three degrees of warming is really disastrous. The scary thing is, the world is well on its way there. The Earth is warm between 1.1 and 1.3 degrees Celsius. At three degrees, over a quarter of the world's population could endure extreme droughts. One cost to it is a dinner is a hundred through day. Tokon on a cost to our ratro on a gorum lag, on a ratro got hand on a tap matrada din din bartias. Money a hun caro bartis, shamna digar over you. A connect activities in a shamna dig a kiba with a gum. Revelation 18 verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. Smallholders with farms under two hectares produce around a third of the global food supply. Israel Ramirez Rivera is a smallholder in Guatemala. Here, climate change is making the dry seasons longer and more severe. Digamos que esta, esta es la mazorca más grande que pudo dar esta parcela. He depends on his crops of corn and beans, but they're getting harder to grow. Las montañas a nuestros alrededores no nos tenían casi al, alimentos nativos. Eh, cual ahora ya no hay, ¿verdad? Por el tema del cambio climático que viene afectando, ¿verdad? A raíz de todo eso, que venido a la nutrición de los niños se nos han eh, muerto varios lo, 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 a los cultivos más que todo porque eh, la canícula viene más a pegarnos más duros entonces ahí se nos marchita y ahí ya no hay tal de que vamos a producir un alimento en abastecimiento ¿verdad? Revelation 16 verse 20 and every island fled away and the mountains were not found the village of Toguru in Fiji is being swallowed by the sea. You can see the graveyard there. Yeah? Uh, it's all underwater now due to this uh, rising sea level and uh, climate change. Barney Dunn, the village headman, has seen over half the village disappear. Relatives' houses have been abandoned and family graves are now underwater. Revelation 16:19, And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. 1619, isn't that the year they claim we were taken into slavery? Revelations 18.4 Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. Jeremiah 51 verse 6 Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Isaiah 40 verse 3 The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. In many ways, cities um, magnify, intensify climate events. Cities are hotter than the places around them. They tend to be more um, vulnerable to flooding and you can get a really bad event in a city in a way that you can't in the countryside. And because of their denser populations, disasters in a city affect far more people. This is Rapsun.